Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Emacs Pulsar 2306, 1700 and 2400 kV motors. These motors are pretty unique since they integrate three LED units on their bottom side and today in this video I'm going to quickly go over the features and specs and then measure their thrust on my motor thrust end. As I just mentioned, these motors are available in two kV options. 1700 kV, which can handle lipo batteries between 3 to 6 cells, and 2400 kV, which can handle 3 and 4S lipo batteries. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the motor, you are getting some stickers, a bag with a motor nut, and an M2 screw in a washer for the motor shaft, two bags with 5, 6, and 7 mm M3 screws, and I think that it's great that Emacs added an indication for the arm thickness on each bag and also included an extra screw. In addition, you're also getting these three covers for the motor's bottom, so you can just assemble them in this manner. And as you can see, when the motor starts spinning, the LED will start working, and as the motor spins faster, the light will grow stronger. The weight of the Emacs Pulsar motor is 34.7 grams, so it's a little bit heavier than a typical 2306 motor. It features a hollow aluminum shaft. On its top side, you can find this pattern for a better grip of the propellers. And it's using 11 cm long, 20 AWG motor silicon wires. The next thing that I've done is to bench test both 1700 and 2400 KV versions. After going over the results, I can tell you that they are very similar to the thrust test results of the Emacs Echo 2306 motor. And since these motors cost almost double than the Echo motors, I think that unless you really need to have these cool LEDs on the bottom, you should go with the Emacs Echo motors. Now I'm going to show the thrust test, and in the description box down below, you can also find a link to the full test results. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.